Call this Bingo High Camp Fiscal Court to order on this uh, 10th day of January 2023, uh, 5 p.m. I'm going to ask uh, Brother Mike, I mean, Brother Parker, Scott Parker to come in and uh, I was trying to get call him the, our old minister's name, but that's okay, uh, to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to black. Let's pray together. Our gracious God and Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening so grateful for the many blessings that you've given to us, thankful for our home here in Ohio County, thankful for the people and the businesses and those leaders that you've put in place to make decisions over the finances and the direction of the county. And so, Lord, we pray for your wisdom, we pray for your blessing, we pr pray for your strength during this meeting that you would oversee it and you would bless it. We pray for those that are struggling with the uh, recent flooding and, and weather activity in our county. We pray for them. We pray for those businesses that are trying to uh, get established and that are growing in our county. And we pray for your blessing on them as well. And may we all remember the gifts that you've given to us in this county, in this place. We give you all the glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Brother Scott. Appreciate you. Appreciate that. In case any of you didn't know it, Brother uh, Scott Parker from Parker Christian Church. Uh, before you have the minutes of the of the uh, January 3rd special call meeting. I need a motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve. Motion by Jason Bull. Second. Second by Kenneth Callaway. Is there any discussions, corrections, or additions? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you have the lengthy bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Uh, I'll need a motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Larry Murphy. And was there no late list? No. Second. Second with Jason Book. Is there any discussion on the bills, <coughs> claims, payments, and transfers? Any discussion? Our questions for the treasurer. Being nine, all in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, like sign. Bills are paid. We have the treasurer's December uh, financial statement. We need to uh, acknowledge it, the receipt of it. The, someone to move to do that. I'll acknowledge we received the treasurer's financials. Post for uh, Jason. Statement. The December financial statement. Do I hear a second? I'll say. Second by Bo Bennett. Is there any discussion on it? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Uh, uh, gentlemen, th these uh, reports that we're getting, we're just acknowledging that we get them. We're not acknowledging that they're correct because they still have to go through all of them. Sometimes they'll say pending all of but we just say we acknowledge we received them. Same way with the uh, clerk's December financial report at the next time. The county clerk, is that right? Or? Yes. Yep. <coughs> oh no, that's the clerk's quarterly report, okay. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by Bo Bennett. Second. Second to Kenneth Callaway. That's to acknowledge the receipt of the clerk's financial report for December. <clears throat> uh, any discussion? Usually when they audit, they find a lot of mistakes. Too. Being none, all in favor say aye. Yeah, no. Opposed, like that. <laughs> then we have the clerk's quarterly report. <coughs> I'll make a uh, motion to acknowledge, or I'll, I'll acknowledge we received the quarterly report. For the clerk. Motion by Jason Bull. I'll say. Second by Bo Ben. Is there any questions on that? Um, if uh, none, all in favor say aye. Uh, Opposed, like sign. That one passed. This other one, 
may actually be a uh, approval thing. Receipt. It's receipts. Knowledge receipt of the uh, that we have. It. Official receipt of property taxes for 2022. Yeah, that's an acknowledgement too, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'll acknowledge we received the sheriff's uh, 2022 property tax receipts. Okay. Um, motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Kenneth Callaway. Is there any discussion? Our questions for the sheriff. He's back there. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like I have two personnel issues. And the way this works, I just put the name up and you do a roll call vote. Um, we've had to, we've had two custodians quit. We've hired two what well, part-time and a full-time. We've hired back two part-times for the time being. Um, we'll see if it'll work. Um, but the first one is Quentin Bernhardt. It's part time at twelve twelve per hour, starting on on uh, twelve twenty five. Twelve twenty five of twenty three. Of twenty two, I mean. Uh, roll call. Judge, is it still open? We a full time one will go on in heart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, this is this. I had a, I put him to work with emergency order, that's why the back date on me. Um, go ahead and roll call. Bullock, yes, Bennett, yes, Johnston, yes, Callaway, yes, Morphew, yes, McKinney, yes. Okay, we'll sign it. The other is the exact same. No, it's not the exact same thing. We've got enough. Don't we have another custodian thing? Okay, I'm sorry. Let's head to one custodian. We're taking care of the other one at the last meeting. But uh, we have a status change from level one to level two on the animal shelter uh, worker, Alex Smith. Reason for it is he's going to also cover in weekends as a uh, uh, as a uh, deputy animal patrol officer, uh, the uh, <coughs> he moved his rate of pay from 1380 to 1439. That's Alex Smith. It's effective 1 8 23. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. <coughs> Okay, um, we have, you have that bed, I'll get some of those. We have a one bed for a, for an ambulance remount. Uh, I would like to get one, get you started. Would you open this and read the vendor and the mount? The bed, the, uh, it's been... We just do it one now. One ambulance? Yes, sir. And this will be several months out yeah. for it to deliver and we yeah. pay for it. it, it, it whoever, uh, they'll need a PO to get uh, a chassis secured. And once they get the chassis, then they'll contact us. We'll get the truck. But we're looking several months out. Yeah. We don't have to write a check today. Is your fleet in pretty good shape? It, yeah. This, this one needs replaced and then. Uh, we're phasing out diesels in the long run, Larry. Uh, the, the gas become more, it's more easy to maintain, a lot less expensive, and are pretty reliable. So we, as we've replaced them or remount, you know, we're, we're going from diesel to gas. You want to read the vendor and the amount? Sure, the, the vendor was Select Tech. The amount was $152,900. <coughs> 152 what? 1529 how much is more is that than the one we had last time we mount, remounted one? Can't tell you, Ralph. Had judge, I can look and find out. I mean, out. it is a significant increase, though. So <coughs> it is a significant increase. Yes. Uh, I was thinking it was slightly over 100, like 112, 120. Yes. The last one was just like 102, 3, or something like that. 
Yes, and uh, you know we've uh, we've had they've come down and talked with us. We had one other county that it's forty thousand dollar increase in an ambulance. What the, what they're doing, gentlemen, they're taking the uh, uh, the body that's there for the ambulance. Now they take it off and they put it on a whole new truck front. Which which will save you forty thousand dollars in the long run. Yeah. That's you know that's why we buy bronze because they're they're built strong enough to uh, remount a few times if the chat if the box is in good shape. And we've been doing that for several years now. So oh yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's we, long we, term. We normally do one, um, um, what, one a uh, year. Did you get that out? Yeah. Okay. Pardon, Judge. I said we usually do one a year. <coughs> yes, there, we try to. And, uh, overall, the fleet's not in bad shape at all. Do I most accept that bid? I got a second for. I'm gonna. You get your hand up though. I'm gonna There's some grant money to be. Use towards that too, right in. Uh huh. Seventeen thousand seven hundred ninety-two. So the hundred and thirty-five one hundred eight will need to go on our house bill co severance list uh, when we do that. So it's one thirty-five. Which we do in March. Yeah. By the way, it is from one thirty-five will be the. Yeah, one hundred eight. Okay. Out of grant. It's from uh, the Kentucky Emergency Management Association, or what is that called? Where there's 10,000, we get 10,000 every year. Oh, no, Senate Bill 1, <coughs> Senate Bill 6. Okay. Uh, do I have a move to do that and for the checks to come from those two different <coughs> I'll make a motion. A uh, second. Motion by Jason. And a first, for a second for Larry Moore. It's our money that, we, you know, we we were putting aside for fire. It's some of that extra money, is that what? How are we going to, where in the future, what are we going to do with this? How are we going to? Are you talking this about the ARPA money? Use. No, not ARPA money. No, what he's asking about, our emergency fund mm -hmm. money, if it will eventually cut for all the ambulance, just cover for some of it now, but uh, not purchase probably. Not I don't know what that fund was called exactly. You're talking about the emergency services fund. Yes, uh -huh. what we're paying out of fire departments. Yeah, stuff. well, it, it wouldn't fund a new ambulance at this time, but hopefully we get new businesses then and it'll gradually, you know, increase to that. But this will have to come out of Coast Severance money. Okay. Which we will we will uh, dedicate that about March. Okay. How much is in that? About the end of March. Uh, well I mean it's well, uh, yeah, but I, yeah. I'd have to look. It funds nine one one. It funds the bar apartments. How much is in it? How much did it bring in? It don't hardly keep any of it, Larry. Yeah. So it pays the bills all the time. I'm going to say around $2 million less, maybe. Oh, Select takes a very pay. reputable leave. They've done three or four for us, and they're, they're the best that, that we've dealt with. <laughs> we have a motion and second. Is there any more discussion? No. Do I do a vote call on this one? Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Johnston? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Larry, it's one million one hundred and seventy-five thousand. So I but it grows each year. You know. uh, on the wastewater board, I have a reappointment of uh, of uh, Joe Bennett. Boy, it sounds almost like our Magistrate done. But uh, he, he assured me it wasn't his brother. Uh, anyway, uh, roll call on that. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. What district was that? The, it's not the district. I, I thought we each district chose a one. No, no just one county. One, one for the whole county. Oh, wait, okay. We're not water yet. That was waste water. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, for District 3 water board appointment, though, right now I'm doing Eddie Embry for District 3. Uh, re a reappointment for a full term. No call. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKenzie? Yes. <coughs> okay. Uh, no more points in the standing committees. I'm going to read them so they'll be in the minutes. But we don't have to approve them. 
Except if you're on a, if I name you on a committee and you don't want to do it, you can tell us and we'll take it off. But the uh, first one is the Oil and Gas Committee, one having Bo Bennett, Justin Cowan, and Jason Bullock serve on that. And uh, that's the one that uh, uh, is trying to sell the gas under the landfill. We've not had much look at it. We had several prospects, and the deal's always something went wrong. Have we heard back from the people from that one? Um, yeah, we heard they didn't really exist. Yeah, so. it, it, <laughs> well, I looked them up on the internet, and I was kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was uh, <coughs> factory there. So okay, okay. They want the night ride. Yeah, yeah. I've got their card here. They didn't check out. Uh, it's a little way then. Uh, on, and the, the next committee we'll name is the One Up. That's the committee that encourages education and further training for employees. And uh, and how that encouragement will work <coughs> is uh, if there's any incentives involved, they'll go through the committee. But it's mainly more than incentive, it's more encouragement. Um, on that one's Kenny Autry, Jason Bullock, Jason Burden, and. I didn't ask you about this. I want you to serve on that too, Ken. And then we have the Rural Maintenance Committee. Uh, Charlie Shields, David Hine, and Michael McKinney. Rural maintenance is, is, is basically has a lot to do with, uh, there, there's ordinance we have, and it'll be when that's reviewed or tweaked or anything. Jerusalem Ridge Committee will be Jason Bullock, Larry Morphew, Jody Flinger, and Todd Autry. That's the same as it was. There's no changes on that one. I appointed the, way, uh, the uh, Admin Code Committee the last meeting. Uh, Property Owning Owner Protection Committee. Uh, I've talked to all of you about this a little bit this only, but that would be Jason Bullock, Kenneth Callaway, Paul Sandifer, Justin Cowan, and Charlie Shields for his mapping. He's, he's a, a helper on it for mapping. And does everybody know what I'm, what I'm talking about, what that committee's looking at? Yes. Yeah. I told you about it on top. Y'all, I, I challenge y'all to meet but at four o'clock before the next court meeting. Two weeks to meet for that committee to meet. And um, can you help me make sure? Read that you, name. Read those names again, please. If you don't. Charlie, Paul, you, okay. Kenneth, and Justin. Okay. Um, the solid waste. Um, I, I, need a full, uh, I, I need a committee, but uh, Charlie Shields and David Himes, of course, that's their business. They're out there picking it up. And I guess I would like to see if any of y'all would be interested in volunteer to serve on that one with those two gentlemen. I'll do it. Okay. Kenneth Cowell. Okay. And then... The uh, Community Mental Health Committee, which originally had named the Suicide Prevention Committee, and the committee said changed their name to uh, Mental Health, which is more appropriate. Uh, on that, uh, Elvis Doolin, Landon Spurlock, who's here, uh, Jason Bullock, and Ashley Davis. Uh, so community, community Center Security Committee was Alan Russell, Larry Morphew, Les Johnson, and Judge Renona Brown, <coughs> retired Judge Brown. And we're going to add Jerry Bailey, who's our new uh, building superintendent here, and name to that. <coughs> and that's where they'll, they will uh, recommend what we can do to prevent uh, active shooter situations and kidnappings and things like that from the building. Sure, we'll get to, when we go to the next conference, we'll have them come down here and uh, do, we'll have a class. Uh, we'll do that with all the employees. Yeah. Uh, I, 
instead of an active shooter came in here, I had a, a two or three inch uh, advantage here because I can duck that much. <laughs> and uh, a former manager said, well, you need it because they're going to shoot at you first. <laughs> so I guess it all evens out. <clears throat> but I hope we never have it, but we want to do something to prepare ourselves for it. Well, at least we finally have a, you know, with the other courtroom, we didn't have a back door. We were just kind of wet. Yeah, at least we have a back door to run out. Well, you know, that's your, that's the first order you do things. Your options is, first option is run. Yeah. Uh, second one, hide, and third one, fight. But yeah, I'm not, I, I kind of, I kind of prefer that first one first. Yeah. Um, animal control ordinance, Dr. Soy, Soy <coughs> St. Clair, Jason Bullock, Kenny Autry, Debbie McDaniel, Daniel, and Jennifer Darty, who is our animal control ordinance. If any of you other uh, <coughs> magistrates have a passion for uh, animals and animal control and protection and all those things, any of you have a passion for that, you don't we'll leave the committee like it is. If any of you wanted to join it later, you sure can. <coughs> Um, the ATV Transportation Committee, which is to meet soon, uh, it's a uh, uh, we've got uh, Jason Bullock, Larry Morphew. I just added you to that, Larry. Which one, Jay? The ATV on the roads, where they want to have permission to ride on county roads, and then Sarah, uh, Sarah. Do either one of you guys have a, a strong, would like to be on that one? I mean, I'll help out on that one. I do feel like, yeah, we need a rule. Is Larry, did you say Larry tomorrow? Yeah. You yeah. probably do need you a rule match. Would you, you do that, Bob? Yeah. I'm going to add a little to that one. And uh, I believe uh, they're waiting on Jason, Justin for something to have a meeting. She said. No, we. They, they had a proposed ordinance and asked me to look at it um, to go over, and I've I've given that. Uh, uh, Sarah. Uh, Bria is going to deliver it maybe to Sarah. So if they're waiting on that, it's it. I've looked at it, and it's up to you guys on whether you want to take any further action. But uh, made some amendments based on what I saw. So. Um, about done for the day. There'll be other standing committees. And then you got another special committees too to look into one particular thing. It's going to like the ATV thing after it meets and there's conclusion that won't be a committee anymore. It'll be gone. It's, it's got a purpose there. Um, Fire Dues Committee uh, is, uh, uh, I'm going to change his name here because he's not the President of the Association anymore. It will be, uh, <coughs> David Stevens, Jason Chen, Jason Bullock, Charlie Shields and Nick Wool, and uh, the, and this this will be um, when you have a meeting, it'll be initiated by the firefighters. The fire chiefs will initiate that meeting when it comes time to do it. And we addressed that last year, so that's not real. I mean, a couple of years ago. So. Yeah, you might not even have a meeting this year. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not going to redo this one right now. Then, then the last one I'm going to do today is the legislative committee. And uh, that's going to be uh, uh, 
going to be Jason Chin, Jimmy Cantrell, and uh, Michael McKinney. And I suspect this will have a trip to, uh, y'all will probably want to be sure, I'll be on that committee to come to the, which I'll be there too, to the KCJAE Legislative Reception uh, on February the 7th. So, okay, count the eight. February 8th. We're going to take a vehicle that day. Yes, we'll take a van. <coughs> we'll take the size of the van will depend on how many we got going. Okay, that's it. So, uh, how about the health department and the hospital? The, they're boards. You're, they're appointed for a term. <coughs> You're on the hospital board for a term. When it runs I know it was the last time. Yeah, you still are. Your term's still on good on that one. Um, the uh, wage salary scale committee is there? It, it's a is sub. That part of ad. It's, it's a part of admin now. <laughs> uh, yeah, admin of that and uh, okay. It's part of admin. Okay. Uh, the next thing is committee reports. Has any committees met? That needs to make a report. Anybody here got a committee report to give us? Jason, your uh, the mental health thing has to be meeting the twenty fourth. They they can't. We're meeting the twenty fourth of January. Yeah, and like you said, the uh, uh, property owner protection committee we'll wants to meet. At the we next might week. even meet between. I might talk to some, a few of them. Just kind of talk to them between before we meet four o'clock. But we will meet four o'clock next. Well, I can't because we have an admin meeting. At four o'clock, so maybe I'll reach out to Kenneth and, okay. and see when. Okay. And then on the on the, the uh, on the that day of the next court meeting, yes. I also want the uh, uh, the uh, you got another one there too, Jason. The property owners uh, protection. Property That's what I'm talking protect. about. Okay, yeah, it's got to be that four o'clock that day. Yeah. So you and I and I and Miranda. Is there any other committee reports? Uh, um, the uh, y'all will need to at the next two meetings out. The first meeting <coughs> in February, we need to have a road committee meeting, and we'll have to we'll need to elect the chair of that committee at that time. And it's all of the masters. <coughs> the whole county has been the chair of it for some time. For probably eight years. Okay. So he wanted to make the one trip, man. Well. <laughs> no, you can figure out which one to get excuses up from. Three thirty four. So they'll all be 100. here, so you can pop in and out of. We might start one at three thirty or something. Three thirty, four, four thirty. Yeah, I might do one. So keep the four o'clock admin code. Admin code will take at least forty five minutes. Well, if I can meet with Kenneth, we might can meet in between okay. and talk with Paul or somebody, and okay. and we might can meet early for that, and that will take real long on the on the whatever day that is next okay. meeting. Okay. And. Uh, Remind Charlie, he's got to do all the math in for that. Okay. Uh, under committee reports, I'll do, I'll, this would be the best time to make an announcement. We were awarded, and, the, and the, you remember, we were awarded three hundred some thousand dollars for cleaning up uh, Rough River from after the tornado. We we took bids. Well, our bids was like a million. Oh, right. Okay. Well, one one cleanup was um, one area. Was well, USDA come back and gave us the rest of do all. They all sites increased it from three hundred thousand to one point one million. That's good. So that's supposed to get all sites. It was proposed. So I think that's a, I think that's good. Anybody here think that's good news? Yeah. 
Mr. Haney, I thought he would. Yeah. It, well, it's actually good news to all of us because the drainage on that river was terrible. And this is actually going to put us in better shape than it was before the tornado. Well, how is it since the last flood? I mean, is it, I mean, a little it, there in the it, was, it affected, that flash flooding that affected him. It didn't affect the, uh, the areas the as much. It's still about the same. The main major area. area didn't hit so hard. Yeah, it, uh, you guys took a, a real hit. Everybody did, you know, with that. We had four and three quarters when that yeah. rain hit, but surprisingly, things didn't seem all that much different. Yeah, but it's, uh, it, did, it didn't wash it away. It's still there. Uh, also, at the next meeting, I didn't get to I didn't get enough volunteers to do it for today to get them on. Next meeting, I appoint a three-person committee that's not um, us to look at uh, reapportionment. Re you have to do it every 10 years. But since COVID was in 2020, they <laughs> gave us a grace period. So it's 2023, it has to be done. So uh, uh, the first review of it and recommendations will come from that committee. Uh, myself and two others here was on the last one. And uh, that then, the, the, the fiscal court did not accept the committee's report. So the fiscal court did their own mapping. And you talk about something built by committee, it is if you look how slim some of the parts in it is. So I hope we can do whatever the committee gives us this time and, and run with it. Mike uh, ought to be somebody else, because you remember his house sits right there kind of close to the three so we got to be careful how we do that too. I don't think it's that one's going to be. I don't think it's going to be near the changes it was then. Okay. The reinforcement for the best. She don't think it's going to be very significant. The school board's going to come in with with us sure and use the same on. thing we use. That will help. The, the school board's going to use the same. <laughs> school board's going to be at the same time. Okay. I uh, kind of feel like I'm rambling here, but we've had a whole lot to talk about. Now we're ready for magistrate's comments and requests. We start with District 1. No comments at this time. Thank you. District 2. I'm looking for one more committee to be on. I don't know. If you subscribe <laughs> to it. I'm sorry about that, but if you if you know most of those you've already on before. I'm joking. I'm <laughs> okay. No, District 3. Uh, no comments. District 3. No, this time. Five. Yeah, I've got a comment. Uh, this uh, hard use board, they're going to be hitting some resistance because a person in Cromwell paid three different fire abuse. His car caught on fire a half mile from his house, and nobody from uh, Cromwell showed up, so Beaverdam went and sent him a bill for $500. Now, fellas, stuff like that's going to make people not want to pay their dues. Well, we'll correct that. We'll work with it. I don't know what you're going to correct or not. I think you're going to have to pay it. Well, Ain't a thing we're right about that, fellas. Well, we're going to work on with the association and get that deal made better because of that incident. That's the only one I know of that ever happened. But, but there have been, there's areas where they get double. You know, they cross over lines with dudes. We know we've known in the past. I'm not talking about this. It's supposed to have been uh, <coughs> mutual aid. Mm -hmm. uh, this gentleman had paid his dues to Cromwell. Yeah. But Beaverdam responded. And Beaverdam didn't honor his fire dues being paid at Cromwell. And that's something we, we need to look into. If, if he's paid his dues, they're probably going to be a mutual. Aid. Well, we're working on that. Mutual aid. Do what, Helen? None of them do. If, you, if you're... If I pay my dues at Dundee, which I do, and Forcewell has to come out now, even Justice, my nephew, so he may throw it out, but he can send me a bill. Now, if the man had had uh, insurance on his car, they normally send that bill to the insurance company, and the insurance takes care of it. But uh, I don't know of any kind. You know, we get the same thing from Orangeboro for mutual aid. If we have to say we get an ambulance breakdown or something, where we got a critical patient on board, we need it another set of hands and we call AMR. AMR sends us a bill. Doesn't send the patient. 
fancy ambulance service bill, right, Marcus? Yeah, it's mutual aid. It's mutual aid all it is, but ridiculous. A person paid three different property bills to get a bill for five hundred dollars. It's just ridiculous. <coughs> but we're working on that. Uh, matter of fact, I've already got somebody working on it. Well, do what, Judge? I've got somebody working on that. That's all I got. Okay. It should be kind of. I would think it. Well, me, I don't know either. But if you paid that bill in that area, it should be some kind of. You should be covered somehow under that because yeah, you paid that. See, if we have mutual aid agreements with mm -hmm. every county that borders us for ambulances. So if, if their resources are depleted and, and it's towards Ohio County's the closest county, then you know, that's we, we respond. Mm -hmm. Now we'll build a patient, but we don't build we don't build the ambulance service. You know, it's it's mutual aid. Uh, I think I, I live in uh, Deanfield. I pay Whitesfield dues, but for, and Whitesfield is my fire department. But Ford will respond. I could get be the same. The same thing could happen to me. I could get a bill from Ford. Uh, you know, that, you should be able to work through that. We'll work. Mutual on. aid. You know, mutual aid for they're supposed to, to back each other up. That's kind of what. Yeah, we'll work it's on mutual it. aid. Mm -hmm. Justin, do you have anything? No, Judge. Thank you. Not then. Uh, no, uh, have been by the general public got anything? I just said. No, yes, I just want to do. Uh, uh, you guys give me good news, but just keep our little bridge in mind. Uh, it's got a three-ton limit. Uh, the river, the uh, creek came over it in this last storm, which it did a lot of damage to a lot of things. But just keep our little bridge in mind because I have. Two children, their spouses, and four grandchildren that cross it daily. And it's, we, uh, we will start working on that bridge. The reason we haven't done anything ish, initiative ourselves, <clears throat> it was on the bridge in Kentucky list. That was a yeah. fund the state set up to do, and uh, and it never got done on it. Yeah, and the engineering stakes are in the ground and. Yeah, I know. it's gone we, because we of our will, governor. We will find out if if that's on a list anywhere. If not, we may try to do it it's with county with uh, eighty twenty, and then subsidize it with uh, with something else. We may look at trying to do it ourselves. If they're not, if it's not going to be done that way, we did one last month, a lot less expensive bridge than that though. Uh, we did one down on Burgess uh, Lane. We did ourselves. With yep. our 820 money that was on their list and we gave up on it well i met my new magistrate before the meeting and everything but i you guys all know me and i i hope that's good news on that cleanup but we originally tied that together with that bridge because that bridge is uh yeah one one of the things we had it, one of the funding levels we uh, applied for was going to take care of that too yeah yeah thank you thank you anybody else can thank how are we doing with the 2080 bridge money? Is that going to be something? 80-20. Or 20, yeah, 80-20. 80-20. We have time to apply again. And, uh, We've maxed all certified again. And I've got uh, uh, Nick looking at where the worst one is to do. You know, we've got, got the one he mentioned is the only bad bridge I can think of right now. I, I would like to sometime look at Davis Road, though. And Quarter Horse. Yeah, but it's not condemned. <laughs> no, it's not condemned, but it's something we get yeah. to a point where, yeah. I mean, because... We did that, but the design. It, we it, built it ourselves. It, it was stays. bad bridge. We took it out and put two huge tiles in it. Then the trees always come down the ditch and catch between the two tiles. Uh, some places that worked well, but if there's a lot of trees and stuff in the creek, no, you know, I get calls there. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's pretty. Uh, but anyway, uh, if there's nothing else, we'll call this meeting adjourned. Yeah, I'm too late. Sure.